Parents, just a quick note. If you want to turn today's story time episode into a homeschooling English language arts lesson, look in the description box below and there will be a link to printable PDF worksheets. Enjoy the show. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Authorized. I am your hostess, Christina Nicole Smith, and today's story time book is The Meanest Thing to Say by Bill Cosby and illustrated by Varnett P. Honeywood. Chapter One. Hello, friend. My name is Little Bill. My teacher is Miss Murray. One day, a new boy, Michael Riley, came into our class. It didn't take long for him to start trouble, just until recess. I walked to the basketball court with my friends, Andrew, Jose, and Kiku. My cousin Fuchsia was waiting for us. She's in a different class. Jose was dribbling when Michael showed up. I know a better game, Michael said. It's called playing the dozens. You get 12 chances to say something mean to a person. The meanest thing wins. I'll start, Jose said. Andrew is a lousy basketball player. Jose hops with the frogs in the sixth grade lab, said Andrew. But Andrew eats frogs for dinner. Jose said. Kiku looked sick. You shoot like a girl, Michael said to me. I shoot like a girl, said Fuchsia. She took the ball, walked back a few steps and aimed. Swish, a perfect shot. Yeah, baby, she said. Michael pointed his finger at me. I'm not finished with you, he said. Just then, the bell rang. Tomorrow, Michael said. Chapter two. I couldn't do my homework. I was thinking about what to say to Michael tomorrow. There had to be a million mean things I could say to him, but I was so mad that I couldn't think of any. I stood on my bed and flexed my muscles. I started jumping and yelling. Watch out, Riley man. I am the best, the greatest, the smartest kid in the world. Soon, my mother was at the door. Young man, stop jumping on that bed now, said mom. I jumped down with a loud crash. I went to the dinner table. Macaroni and cheese, fantastic. My great-grandmother, everyone calls her Alice the Great, was already at the table. Little Bill, what was all that noise about? She asked. I'm getting ready for a contest tomorrow, I said. A boxing match? Asked Mom. It's called playing the dozens because you have 12 chances to say something mean to the other guy. I'm going to make a list of a million things, a million mean things to say. If I stay that list really hard, I can't lose. That's when my dad walked into the kitchen he is Big Bill. Hey, buddy, what's this I hear about studying? Big test tomorrow? He asked. No, dear, our son is in a contest, Mom said. He has to come up with a million mean things to say to someone at school. When I was a boy, we called that ranking, Dad said. This new kid said that I shoot like a girl. Dad shrugged his shoulders and said, so? Dad, Michael Riley is a creep. So, Dad, he's really bad. My dad was about to say it again. So? Is that all you can say? I asked. So, 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 you've said it about a million times. I, I, when I looked around the table, everyone was smiling. It's easier than studying a million mean things, Dad said. He got up and jumped around the kitchen like a boxer. He raised his hands in the air and said, I was the world ranking champion. And the rest of us said, so. Chapter three. 
The next day, Michael was waiting for me in the schoolyard and I was ready for him. You smell like old egg salad, Michael started. So, I said, so you're a stupid nerd who looks like a slimy slug, Michael said. So, you're a teacher's pet with bugs living in your hair, said Michael. I thought that was funny and I laughed and said, <laughs> so? Soon the other kids were laughing. Michael was getting angry. This isn't how you play the game. You have to call me names. Call me stupid, call me mean, I'm ugly. Michael yelled, I laughed harder. He was funny. <laughs> so? Michael yelled even more. You're supposed to be getting angry. You should be crying by now. What's wrong with you anyway? You're funny, I said. The bell rang. I'm going inside, Michael said as he ran off. I looked at Andrew. So, we said at the same time and we laughed. Then we walked to our classroom. Michael was sitting all alone at his desk. I kind of liked him and I felt sorry for him. We're playing basketball during recess. Do you want to play? I asked. Sure, Michael said quietly. You can be on my team, Andrew said. He's a lousy player, I said, grinning at Andrew. Michael smiled too and said, so? We all laughed together. Outside, I held out my hand and Michael gave me a high five. The end. So, what do you think about that story? All right, now it's question time. So let me ask you, have any of you ever been in a situation like little Bill on the playground where you had somebody like uh, Michael being really mean and calling everyone names or wanting to make a game out of it? And if you have been in that situation, how did you handle it? What do you think about the way that uh, little Bill handled the situation later? So remember, his father gave him advice uh, about just having the one response. When somebody calls you a name, just say, so? And that's your one response. So instead of remembering a million mean things to say, you just have the one response. What do you think about the advice that Big Bill gave to Little Bill in how to handle this. Do you think it was a good decision for Little Bill to be friends with Michael who had been so mean to him? Do you think that was a good decision? Hmm. Childhood can sometimes be a little rough and we're going to be faced with decisions that we're going to have to make, but decisions don't stop in childhood. They last for your entire life. Hmm. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this story as much as I did, and I will see you next time on Authorized.